Are you being pursued by an enemy today? If so, you're going to love this chapter. Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week, we're in a brand new chapter, 1 Samuel chapter 19. I've titled this chapter, When Enemies Pursue, God Will Protect. When enemies pursue, God will protect. You may want to write that in your scripture journal, by the way, and highlight this next key verse of the chapter, which is verse 10. It reads, and Saul sought, that is King Saul, and Saul sought to pen David to the wall with the spear, but he eluded Saul so that he struck the spear into the wall, into the wall, and David fled and escaped that night. Now, most of us assume that David's path to the throne was easy after the defeat of Goliath, but it was not. It was not. Did you know it was well over 15 years from when Samuel actually anointed David to be the next king to the time that he was finally appointed to be the king of Israel. During this 15-year time frame, David battled with enemies outside the ranks and within the ranks. Perhaps the most challenging battle was understanding how to fight with King Saul, who was still God's anointed and appointed over the people of Israel. It's hard to understand how to battle these moments, isn't it? You know, many believe that leadership is really an easy task. I just need you to know it's not. Leadership entails all kinds of battles. It's a fiery test of battles fought outside of the ranks and inside of the ranks, but there is nothing like the moment when you experience both of these battles at the same time. The dual pincer movement of a battle outside and inside simultaneously, which is exactly what we will read in chapter 19, David is going to fight battles with the Philistines only to come home and to fight battles with his father-in-law. Doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, does it? But one truth in this chapter gives hope to those of you today who feel attacked by your enemies. It's this. If we are faithful to God, he will always provide an escape. If we are faithful to God, in these attacks by enemies, he will always, 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 always provide an escape. So if you feel pursued or attacked by an enemy today, seek refuge in God as we traverse this chapter. Don't take vengeance. Don't battle alone. Don't take matters into your own hands. Let God fight the battle for you. He's a better warrior than you. He can see the battle better than you. He knows the tactics of the enemy. And he can find a just means of justice and deliverance when you can't. So let him fight for you and let him have the victory. That's this chapter and you're going to love it. I love you guys. And with that, I hope you'll share this with someone else. And we'll see you right back here for more of this chapter tomorrow.